mother. Uh, my daughter is graduating year six uh, and uh, they were meant to graduate last year 2020 but because of COVID we, are, we thank God because we have this opportunity to do the graduation today. We are asking, uh, we are hoping that we are going to enjoy the celebration for the achievements that she has achieved so far. We appreciate our family and friends who are going to be celebrating with us after this celebration. I can move the mountain, whatever you say, we surely come to pass. By the mention of your name, every name was by. Oh, unchangeable, unchangeable God. reliable, reliable God. only you can do. What the world can do Unchangeable Unchangeable Reliable Only you can do What the world Checkpoint here six, eh? 
and seven we stun and clap until they settle in okay but at, at my signal is that fine yes yeah, so we clap for them and they'll be marching in and coming up uh, uh, the lights welcoming our amazing champions class of 2020 2021 and 2019 2020 as they march in why don't we appreciate them with a clap as they walk in they have made us proud as shout if you can as they march in where our people yeah they have been working like the champions they are we appreciate you we appreciate you for making us proud giving us a good day that is awesome that is awesome Wow, what a splendid entrance with some candles there. Come on, let's go get a lot of clapping for them. It's a big team. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, a show for them. Hey, hey, hey. Wow, 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 wow. Looking at the pictures here at the end, right? Amazing, amazing, amazing. These are the future queens and kings. We appreciate them for that. Thank you, parents. Thank you, parents. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, once I finish saying this, I know it's like a reveal. If it's a club or shouting, then we stand still. Okay. So there they are. You can see them looking all nice and lovely and amazing. So in honor of our country's anthem, we shall request us to stand kindly. Yeah, the national anthem. Stand attention. Ya Allah, give this beautiful country peace, stability, prosperity, so that the human race can coexist and live in harmony for the future generation to inherit the same. Almighty God, God guide LIS school, the teachers and the children with, the, with whom you have guided to be an ally of them along with those whom you have restored. 
morning, everybody. Let us bow our heads for a word of prayer. Father, our Almighty God, I thank you for this opportunity that you granted us to have met here today for this powerful celebration. Thank you, Father, for the gift of life for each and every one of us who are gathered in this auditorium. Thank you, Father, for giving us a safe journey to have managed to arrive here so that we can be able to celebrate with our children. Father, I entrust all the graduates into your able hands for your protection, for your mercies, for your direction, and for the celebration today. Father, I thank you for the teachers, for the parents, for all the stakeholders, for the administration who have participated in bringing this day to a success. Father, I take this opportunity to ask you, Father, that you continue burning the passion of study in our children, that you continue, Father, making them to achieve whatever they have planned for their lives. Father, we know that you have had a plan and a purpose for each and every child or graduate in this room. Father, we commit the purpose into your able hands so that they can be able to fulfill their, their purposes at the end of their journeys. Father, we dedicate this celebration into your able hands and we ask you that you guide us all. All this I pray, believing and trusting in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you. Thank you for the prayers. We are now crowned. So let's welcome on stage a performance by the ear twos. You're welcome. We can encourage them with a hand club, eh? They are tiny ones, the 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 tiny ones.
all I can do before I see him myself. You never give up on me. I have a future because of you. Teach. 
Mult bine. The stage is yours. Thank you. We can encourage you in the club as she comes. Meanwhile, you are to be ready. You don't want to do it. Just be ready. Stay ready somewhere. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity to present the parents of year six and those who are transitioned to year seven. Uh, I've been the home group mom because of the pandemic. I couldn't hand over the home group mom. So I guess when we go to the next class in the selector, yes. I'll serve my two terms. Thank you for giving me that opportunity. Yes, so I'm going to read a speech that I made for all of us who are here. Honored guests, head teachers, teachers and assistants, parents, boys and girls of Lights International School. Today is a very special day, isn't it? Isn't it? Yes. Yes. The graduation day of the year, 2019, 2020, 2020, 2021 is finally here. I would like to begin by addressing Light, uh, Light International School. For the past six years, you have dedicated your time, even during the pandemic, and taken care of our children very well. You have dedicated your time, extra classes to our children, checked homework on our behalf, and raised against the clock to be here or there on time with our children. You have been a key and worthy partner in our children's education. Your positive attitude towards giving yours, as yours all, has influenced and encouraged our children to, to achieve their best at light. Light International School has worked. Uh, let's work together, and I'll repeat this. Light International School, Let's work together as partners by having conversation. I guess you know what I mean. Communication is a two-way. Let's point this whether bottom up or up bottom. To the parents, listen to your children. If you don't do this already, aim to extend the time that you spend, especially during this holiday, to having conversation. Remember, conversation is also a two-way. This is a time to share your values and, you, and, and hear your child's opinion. It is also time to build, to build your child's confidence. Increase your child's independence and responsibilities. Transition, transition to high school is an ideal time to introduce your child to the safe working of the washing machines, the making of simple meals, and proper completion of all appropriate tools. These are essential life skills and praise for a job well done will, will boost your child's self-esteem. This is also a great opportunity to reinforce time management skills. <coughs> value experience, experiences over things. I cannot underestimate the value of new experiences in helping our children increase their knowledge. When faced with the choice of gift, giving, do consider a day out and not just the latest electronic games, which have fake experiences. Childhood is brief, so build lasting memories with your children while they still want to visit places with you. Do things together, whether it's sports or later, or just sitting for a conversation. To the graduating class of 2019, 2020, 2020, 2021, I'd like to say thank you for being the children that you have made us proud parents. Now teachers and teaching assistants, for years of planning, teaching, marking, encouraging, remodeling, to online classes with the pandemic, 
kids and explaining having come have come to fruition. Thank you, teachers. How proud you must how proud you must be to see your uh, your students here today. You have touched the lives of these young people forever. And when you think about it, not just their lives, but even the lives of their future, of the future generations. Such is the impact of a teacher's role. Through difficult changing times in education, you have adapted, evolved, and ensured that every child has developed and achieved to the best of their ability at this stage, even during the COVID-19 pandemic. I would like to say thank you, thank you, and thank you by giving them a round of applause, students and parents. Now I want to make a special address to the graduating class. Everyone will tell you that you must work hard and do your best. But I also want to tell you, I want, I want you to be aware of something that is every bit as important as academic success, and that is your character and reputation. As you know, your character is the type of person you are, and your reputation is the opinion that people think you are. Whether they are true or not, you are. At secondary school, the friends you choose will have a lot of influence on your character and reputation. There is a saying that birds of a feather flock together. We wouldn't want you to be blocked as the bad or the bullying group. Always think for yourself and ask yourself, is it true? Is it kind? Is it necessary? You see, words have power. The old adage, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never harm me. It's simple, not true. Words are name calling and they can be extremely damaging. Never accidentally or deliberately find yourself involved in verbal or any other kind of bullying. I repeat this to you students. Words and name calling can be extremely damaging. Never accidentally or de deliberately find yourself involved in verbal or any other kind of bullying. Words can build up a person or break a person. Be kind. Develop, develop a positive character and reputation and use of words that build, not damage. How do you know if it's true? It's the right thing. The right thing is the thing that you will make you proud of yourself, your parents, and your teachers. Mistakes. Everyone, including us as adults, make mistakes. Even your parents and teachers do. If you do, there are two things to do. One. Be of good character and apologize. It will not make you a lesser person. Secondly, don't repeat yourself up because you made a mistake. Every mistake is an opportunity to learn and grow. With bags of good character, care for how you make others feel and sacks of loads of vocabulary, you will have a foundation to do your best at secondary school and throughout your future lives. Light International Academy class of 2019, 2020, 2020, 2021. Have an amazing life in secondary school. The journey has just begun. Wow, thank you, thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for the amazing speech. I'd like to reward you. Mr. Moat, thank you. Mr. Moat, oh, oh, oh. good. No. So that photo should come through nicely. Let's appreciate her. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mr. So at this juncture, we want to present another bouquet of flowers for the home mom year seven, Miss Benedict Omondi. And Fadili, she's not around. Oh, the dad? Baba German. German. Oh, I miss you. Eh? German. Hey. Is here? Let's appreciate. Also, round of applause. Really? Post more photo. Give the flowers. 
Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you, thank you for the good job. We appreciate it, we appreciate it. Wow, moving on swiftly and nicely, uh, we want to go to the next item. Now, year six. Year six. Yes. Year six. Yes. Oh, a lot of pretending, and I know how you are in class. Maybe they have graduated. Yeah. So, yeah. Is it, is it? <clears throat> so, we have a performance by the year six. I know they'll make us proud. Led by Miss Lydia. Why don't we appreciate them for the spike graduating? They will have something for us. The floor is yours, Mr. Tyson. Much more. 
All students wore green t-shirts and decorated their glass books to commemorate the event. This was regarded as the happiest day of the term. We have had tremendous development here at LIS. Our lives have been changing a significant way. From the photos we have all seen, our world is indeed noticeable. As a group, we have learned to tolerate one another. As we all know, from our diverse backgrounds, the joy of life exists. Mr. Tamer, our beloved principal, he made our state fantastic. And Mr. Lecter, he made our crews unforgettable. God bless all our teachers. God bless Elias. Thank you for watching and until next time, stay blessed. Wow, wow. Journalists indeed, eh? Another round of applause for them. Oh, I'm being reminded. All these designs that you're seeing, everything, every presentation, every slide was done by them. No one helped them. Can you clap for them for that? That's an amazing job. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. So we just uh, move on quickly to the next step. Yeah. Oh, well, Edward, Mr. Principal, Mr. Ismail Tumel, the stage is yours. Have you clapped for him as he comes on stage? He's done an amazing job to present his speech. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Good morning, distinguished parents, teachers, and students. Welcome to our graduation ceremony today. I am, my name is Ismail, principal of Light International School, and it is my pleasure seeing all of you here and addressing those uh, class of 2020 and 2021 who are right now in a year six completing their uh, end of the year, and also the year seven, who or which class completed their uh, year six primary section last year, but we failed to organize such a, a good event to honor them for their graduation. Right now, we are together with the year six and year seven students as the parents, once again, welcome our graduation ceremony. I have spent a lot of time thinking on what I should say to you as a last word of my advice today in this uncertain time. Doors have not come easy as there is so much to say. There are so many conversations I want to have with you about the uncertainty of the virus COVID-19 pandemic. But one day, as I walk around the school corridors and the gardens classes, thinking what to say in my speech today, I realized that I didn't have to give you some new profound message today. I just needed to remind you what about them and what you have learned at Life International School Karen. So you can put that into practice what you have already been taught. The first thing, number one, perseverance in difficulty. You persevere on the athletic courts and fields. You persevere in the classroom with e-learning and through the quarantine. So you persevere in the classroom with e-learning and through the quarantine. You lost celebrated events, but still found joy at the end of the academic year. Continue to persevere when life hands you difficult times. You are strong, courageous, and have the spirit to endure. Whatever challenging times come your way, don't take shortcuts and always give your hundred percent. Number two, dear students, choose integrity. You were honest, even when it was difficult to be. You didn't let someone else take the blame of or for something you did. 
You did your own work. Continue to choose integrity and do what is right, even when no one is looking at you. Don't blame others or make excuse for your own actions and decisions. Stand up for what you believe in, even if it is not a popular. Number three, serve those who are in need and your support. You serve each other. You serve a friend who was in need of comfort or support. You assisted victims of COVID. You serve the poor people in our community. Continue to serve others. Serve others when you are busy, when it is inconvenient, when you would rather do something else. Serve those in need because there are always those in need. Worse than you and appreciate what you have and what your parents presented and gave to you. Number four, create beauty. You created beauty at our school. You created beauty with your voices. You created beauty with your paint brushes. You created beauty on the football field, soccer and netball field. You created beauty through a literature, debate and art. You helped maintain our beautiful campus with your contributions. Create beauty by choosing words that unite and inspire, not divide and hurt. Create beauty by choosing words that unite, once again repeating, inspire, not divide and hurt others. Create beauty by expressing joy. Create beauty in your words by sharing with your gifts and making a world better place to live. Number five, defend the vulnerable. You have raised funds to feed the homeless, orphans here in our community in the Nairobi. Indeed, you did it for your weakness. Be a voice for those who cannot speak for themselves. Stand up for the rights of the less fortunate. Be a witness against injustice in its many forms. Stand in solidarity with vulnerable. Number six and the last one, seek the truth. You saw the truth in the classroom. You saw the truth in your each lessons. You learn how to find the primary sources and to differentiate between the facts and opinions. In this world, where every story is presented through the lens of a multitude of agendas, don't consume information at face value. Do not solely surround yourself with people of similar background, view, and opinions. Repeating once again, this is very important statement, dear citizen, do not solely surround yourself with people of similar background, faith, views, and opinions. Seek the diversity you were blessed to experience here at Light International School Ferran Campus. Through a diversity of background and ethnicities, you will be enriched. Seek the truth. Find the facts. Let this path to discovery be guided by prayer. For, uh, formulate your own thoughts and opinions. I leave you with the following words. The future is in your hearts and in your hands. God is entrusting you the task of working with Him. 
in the building of civilization of love. Create the civilization of love. Take what you have learned at Light International School Karan, the person you have become, and the courage you have attained to be a force for change. Make the world a better place and make a difference in your community, in your country. Congratulations to the class of 2021 and 2019. Thank you. Wow. Hand clap, hand clap for Mr. Ismail, our principal. Thank you for the speech. One thing of what I mean is that doing the right thing, even when no one is watching. Maybe a rhetorical question. If you found something that you really needed somewhere misplaced, and you know they're always going to come back, why did you not take it or why did you take it? Is it because there are consequences? or because it's just not right to do so. Think about it. Now, we have well-able teachers who made this happen since 2019 to the class that we are seeing now, 2020, 2021, and we'd like to appreciate them for the good job they've done. Aren't you proud, are you? Yes, yes personally we are for the great job. It takes a teacher to teach our topics, study a syllabus, come teach them on screen, so we'd like to appreciate them. And we are going to call upon Mr. Kasaya, for their certifications and they can come on stage so you can call them want to appreciate them for the good job they have done all the teachers a hand clap for her an amazing job an amazing teacher wow we have the quarters beautiful beautiful miss lydia afalbi the math guru yeah. Pleasant surprise, Miss Lois Abala. Hey, 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 hey. Thank you for the love, thank you for the love. Amazing. Miss Mildred Moinori. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Photos, photos, thank you. Mr. Christopher, our daughter, the good boy. Thank you. Appreciate you. Alright, alright. Miss Agnes. One Miss Dorothy. Uh, okay, what about Miss Dorothy Mukusi? Come on, let's cheer her. It feels good when you do so. It's going to appreciate. Amazing. Miss Anastasia Mukusi. Anastasia. Miss Sharon Achina. Into a party for me. Ah, Ah, we have the French girl. What is your fortune? Mr. Paul Kimondi. And the light blue guy with a blue blazer. We appreciate you, sir. Hey, hey, we have our Spanish girl. Mr. Sabi Cachero. I don't remember, I don't remember Spanish, but then... Uh, hola! Oh, hola! <laughs> I am music teacher, Mr. Benson. Can I see you around? Hey! The man with the bow tie, the man with the keys. Mm -hmm. German, German, Miss Lola Dube. These are foreigners, these are foreigners, eh? Can you want to get there? Hey! Majestically matching, eh? Miss Billy Osiru! Awesome, awesome, awesome. Mr. Benjamin, where's our photographer? So I don't know if you take a selfie. Let's appreciate Mr. Benjamin. <laughs> now he's the guy taking the photos, I don't know what will happen there. Now we are going to welcome Mr.
are going to welcome our primary coordinator, Miss Electa. Round of applause. <laughs> After that, she's going to talk to the teachers a little before the teachers leave the stage. Welcome, Miss Electa. Thank you, thank you for seeing my KG teachers coming at the back there. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much, my babies. I know you love me so much. Eh? Thank you for the love. Miss Lois, thank you for coming over. We are really excited to see you with us here on stage. And uh, to my teachers, I mean parents, you agree with me. These teachers go out of their way. All of them. Each and every one of them. Inside there, Mr. Ismail Timer, uh, our principal, has appreciated all the effort that each and every teacher has put within the growing of not just the young ones, but uh, the development of uh, the little ones. I remember Mama Chloe and um, Mama Angel, Mama Warren, who are among our very first parents. And when we started, we had joint classes. We had year two, we had year three and year four together. Thank you for being with us. And when we started, we were only three teachers. You can see the line that is here right now. It's amazing. The best team in the world. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm honored to you. Thank you so much. All right, thank you, thank you. We appreciate, we appreciate. All right, moving on simply, moving on, moving on well. I hope you're excited and happy. Now we have people who did well, and there are people who are the best in like what they did. So at this juncture, I want to call Mr. Collins, Mr. Collins, to award the best students in Checkpoint Class of 2020, 2021. So I'll read out the names once you're on stage. So photographers, let's get ready for this amazing moment. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the college ready? Go ahead. The best student in checkpoint class of 2021 awards is Tyrone Giro and Abigail Checkpoint. Let's 
Amazing, amazing, they need splendid what? Beautiful, let's clap for them, for the good work they've done, as you see them. We celebrate you, we celebrate you. We celebrate you, we celebrate you. Who wouldn't be uh, to say this, that uh, the year sixes who were here, that is Tyrone and Abigail, had straight sixes in all the subjects. Right. Whoa, that is lovely. Yeah, yeah. Wow, 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 wow. Amazing, amazing. Thank you, Mr. Siru, for that. Now, we are going to break ice a little. Ice, sorry. Break ice a little. The, the, you see the, the tashwish of pronunciation? Okay, break ice a little. Okay, what do we mean? So, I hope Miss Sharon is ready with her ear force. I see them looking all red and lovely. The color of love. The ear force. Okay, okay. Don't hold a bit. You can put a song. I'll try dance like them. Yeah, black pants like me. So chill and relax and enjoy.
Ladies and gentlemen, a hand clap for the beautiful presentation. I care, I care. Wow, let's clap for them as they sit down. Great job, well done, your folks. Wow. It's a clear demonstration of what they need to do. Another round of applause for your force kindly. Yeah, 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 yeah. We appreciate that has been our team, I care. The integrity is standing for doing the right thing when no one is watching and we found in the face of the speech. Amazing. I feel like it's just cheating that you need for that more eh? To contemplate and the mediate on what we just saw. That is amazing. Thank you, your boss. We appreciate Also for the teacher doing an amazing job. We appreciate, appreciate. Thank you, thank you. Let's settle down now. Thank you. Okay, moving on well. Moving on well, moving on well. Now, we have great people in speech eh? as representatives. And I'm going to call on stage. I hope this young man is ready. Mr. Hatim Mutaza. To give a six valedictorian speech. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. This speech is to the director, Light Group of Schools, Mr. Zakaria, Academic Coordinator, Light Group of Schools, Mr. Noon, the principal, Light International School, Mr. Ismail Tina. Academic Coordinator, Ms. Lecter, teachers, parents, guests, and fellow students. I believe it is safe to say that we have found ourselves in a rather unique position this academic year. We are a graduating class that for once prepared for an external exam through online learning. Many of us are still torn between thinking we are the luckiest grade 6 in history or the unluckiest. But there are a few considerations I would like to share with you in that regard. To begin with, primary checkpoint exams is a need of all your course, all the way from grade 3 to 6. The exams are really only a test of your knowledge. But when it comes to the subject matter, you should have learned everything you need in the last four years. At least, that's the theory. So, from that angle, we are very lucky. In all our subjects, we had managed to complete the whole syllabus before the exams. Therefore, we haven't missed out on any of that vital wisdom our teachers wished to impart on us before we cross over to secondary school. But, as Ms. Lydia is always quick to remind us, school is more than just a place where most uh, more than just a place of learning. It is well it is the place where most of us mess our closest friends and where we have so far, I hope, spent the majority of our time. There has always been quite a variety of co-curricular acti school activities to help sweeten our learning experience, from Spelling Bee to Green Day to Multicultural Day, not forgetting fun days. Here again, I consider us to be fortunate for not having missed out on these activities. Thank you, Ms. Alepta. The same was enjoyable. As I reflect on the LIS experience as a whole, I learned a lot academically from the various history facts that Ms. Ozil taught me to being a perfect linguist. Thanks, Ms. Royce. Not forgetting Mr. Christopher, making the scientific facts look like a sip of water. LIS gave us room for personal development. I believe that if you really dig deep, you too will discover the positive influence that being at this school had on you. Finally, I would like to express my gratitude to those who helped me get to a point where I'm finally moving to high school. To all my friends, I'm not supposed to say names, but you know who you are. Thank you for making sure not a single day went by where I haven't had a reason to laugh or smile. To my family, Thank you for giving me a place to sleep and snacks to carry to school every day. And for giving me all the help that I needed to reach whatever goals I had. And to my teachers, thank you for push always pushing me, keeping me motivated, and 
and most importantly, thank you for sharing with us your love for the subjects you teach. Finally, to all my classmates sitting here today, you're the ones that have kept school life interesting, from school competitions to classroom conversations. All of you have made a positive impact on to LIS in some way or another. And for those reasons, and a thousand reasons more, I will always remember my time in primary with a smile on my face. Mr. Sami will say muchas gracias, Mr. Paul will say Ms. Buku, Ms. Laura will say thank you, Sean. I say thank you. By Jimmy Brian G, by the Victorian class of 2021. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Thank you, thank you very much, Mr. Hatim, for the bravery, the confidence, and doing it nicely. Here, six clap for him. Specifically, yeah. Joshua and Mama Jerry, Mama Jerry or Mama Kerry, in Amazon. Mama Jerry, Mama Joshua, please join us for the day's party. Okay. Melanie, please join us here. Welcome on the journey of our caring. Okay, welcome. Guys, let's give a round of applause to the ASA. Thank you so much. So we are going to wait and then we're going to count. We are waiting for my mind to settle. We're going to count the count of one, two, three, then we... Okay, you can throw your heart because you're few. Okay, you're allowed to do that. Say the count of one, two, Making a difference, 
through the Global Perspectives Project in Kibera, Longai, and Gong Towns, not mentioning disciplines and ruling prison. Thank you, LIS teachers, parents, and administration. Our teachers, even though we didn't get to prove our hard work, checkpoint exams, we are starting a lot because we had the best team together. Well, everyone has a role model. Everyone wants to be a Mother Teresa, Nelson Mandela, Barack Obama, Wangari Masai. Child is only one you. You can only compete yourself. Go move your mountain, your favorite quote from Dr. Seuss. We are at our best when we break boundaries and challenge expectations. As long as we make that our goal, we will gain wisdom, remain young at heart. Every person here had a toughest challenge. We all took on things when if we had been prudent, we would have given up. But we persisted and we are here because we have all made it. We know we have won. Of course, our real toughest challenges are coming up. I certainly hope they are anyway. If our hardest, most interesting challenges were in primary school, we've got a boring life ahead. That's the most important takeaway. I hope you all get from today. But just because we are living and that hurts, there are some people who are so much a part of us. They'll be with us no matter what. They are our solid grounds, our North Star, and the small clear voices in our hearts that will be with us. We got this from Light International School. I end with this quote. Work hard in silence, let your success be in this. Thank you so much, Gladys. Let's give round of applause to Gladys. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Kerry. Melanie, the standby. Sifa will be following Melanie. Sifa will be following Melanie. That all. Welcome, Melanie. Welcome, Melanie. Edu. Edu. Amazing, Melanie. Sit for on the side, boy. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. And let's clap to your servants, please. Let's give another applause to your servants. Congratulations once again, your servants. Thank you, Mr. Quare, for your service. We appreciate it. Thank you. And um, as I say in my vote of thanks yesterday, Tyson Is it possible? Okay, so as I say in my vote of thanks yesterday, thank you, your fours. Uh, thank you, your twos. Please, um, can you have some? My babies. Okay, thank you for greeting. We'll allow you to exist. But you've been amazing. You did for us a wonderful presentation here, God say again. And I picked one of our school's core values is empathy. And uh, we saw that with our year fourth present here about the school's core values, which is I care. It's standing for each and every one of them. So I picked one which is empathy. And uh, as always, I say, I wonder why we have to give the vote of thanks at the end of the occasion and uh, to thank those who made the uh, day successful. Uh, I have a quote here. It's not about how much you do, but how much love 
you put into what you do that counts. My name is Yatu. Yatu. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. You listening? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you for listening. Huh? Okay, so it's not about how much you do, but it's how much love you put. And I want to believe LIS has put a lot of love in this function with a lot of empathy. That's next slide, Mr. Tyson. We'll move very fast. Uh, first, uh, we give God and Allah for the gift of life and knowledge and wisdom. Without wisdom, you have no knowledge. Without knowledge, you cannot get wisdom. Thank you, Tyson. Next slide, please. Now, there's a lot that is put into coming out with a presentation like this one. A lot has been put. And just giving a sight, moving to the next, Tyson, moving to the next, just to thank and to show empathy of how much we have put. Next slide, Tyson. Um, and I say that, when you look at that photo there, I tell you that's how my teachers look like when we are preparing for events like this. They are not in shorts though, but um, my office looks like that, their classes look like that. Now to receive something which is clean and close-knit, it takes a lot of, you know, agreeing and disagreeing even with my staff. And um, when we put in empathy, we have the emotion of somebody else on board. Then things run up smoothly and we end up having a beautiful presentation like the ones we had today. Next slide, thank you. Um, Second appreciation now is to my teachers, and there is a quote that says, without teachers, we would not have no class. The class, the physical, and the class, the class, you know, that one. So the teachers have done an amazing job. It's not really easy uh, to run kids, you know, have kids, and they're the same ones that are preparing the flowers, preparing for the painting. Each and every one of us has duties, and, um, uh, first, I have to say that for us teachers, we are human before we become teachers. They have families. Next slide, Tyson. They've forgotten a lot. These amazing, wonderful teachers here. They've forgotten a lot. Next slide, just to show us the sample of the people I'm talking about. Those who've done, gone out of their way. Next slide, Tyson, and the next one. Next one and the next one. These are the wonderful team that I've worked with. And the next one, thank you, together with my KG team, who are not participating, but spiritually they're with us here, physically they're with us here. Thank you so much, uh, Team KG. Next slide, we thank you. Um, a good teacher is like a candle. It consumes itself to light the way for others. These are some of the things that these teachers have forgotten. Uh, they've gone their off days, they've gone their lunch time, they've forgotten their family time, they've forgotten everything to make sure that these children are where they are today and the function becomes a success. Next slide, Tyson. We have a very good quote here from Nelson Mandela on empathy. There can be no greater gift than that of giving one's time and energy to help others without expecting anything in return and such is the life of the teacher. So happiness keeps us sweet. Continue. Now, our principal have more than an appreciation to Mr. Ismail, to Mel, because he has been extremely supportive. And um, class of 2019-2020, initially we were not supposed to be having a graduation for you, but when one parent asked if he can get or she can get a gown, Mr. Ismail accepted and said that let's have a graduation for them. And um, I think he's done good. I was uh, looking at Joshua, I'm looking at Angel, and as Mama Angel puts it, you would have a picture of Angel and leave Joshua out for having gone to the same school. So thank you, Mr. Principal, on their behalf. They sent their congratulations to you. She's been extremely positive. Everything is keen to detail, making sure everything is running. Thank you, Mr. Ismail. On to the next slide. Uh, we want to thank also our appreciation to 2019-2020 parents, patients. Uh, thank you for being very patient with us. 
Uh, I know we are not perfect. Mama Chloe said, um, I mean, uh, we need to be together so that we can be able to make some of these things happen. And we have students here who talked about empathy as well. And you've been very empathetic, thank you. Uh, next slide. Class of 2020, 2021, we love you so much. We have big hearts for you. We have really big hearts for you. We have had a wonderful time with you. And um, uh, I know that we have dissensions. Uh, there's nothing that becomes perfect when people do not disagree. Disagreements are normal. And that's how a way of uh, learning to accept and to forge ahead. Thank you. And um, at this particular point in moment, let me just mention that one parent sent for us more things yesterday. And the teachers are here. They were exhilarated. We thank you so much, Mama Family. Mama Family, are you there? You can wait. Huh? Teachers, Mama Family is there. <laughs> so please ask Mama Family. She remembered us yesterday and we were really touched. Huh? Thank you. So move uh, to next uh, Never Give Up. My students, next slide. Next slide. My students, my next appreciation is to you. Next slide, Tyson. We have learned so much from you, teacher, our students. Uh, thank you for teaching us the way you have. We have not taught you, but in you we have learned. We have learned a lot. We have learned a lot of patience. We've done a lot of research. We've done a lot of so many things. We've laughed together. We've played together. You teach us. Myself, I was in the class of 2020, 2021 the other day. And what was the app you were teaching, teaching me about again? I can't, I've forgotten. Miss, don't say it in, our present, in the presence of our parents. Can I? What was the app again? Uh, yeah, which one was it? These people teach us, by the way. Yes, yes, Khadija. It was this code, if you're not wrong. Yeah, it was that one. Thank you, Khadija. But we've learned a lot from them. We have been giving them information, but they've taught us so much. Eh? Thank you for being there, and thank you for being our wonderful students. Next, the ICT team, Tyson, it's overwhelming back there. You have to agree with me. Tyson, just wait. Guys, just drop your eye behind and see this guy who's uh, making sure that the stage looks beautiful and the presentations are amazing. It's a Benjamin. Benja? Oh, Benja is there with the camera. Uh, am I forgetting someone? Mr. Nico, Nicholas, Nico, Nico, I think has left. Thank you so much. And as I've always said, each and every home from LIS has a beautiful certificate. It's because of those wonderful people. Sometimes we make over 400 certificates. And each and every child has to go home with one. Thank you. And we go to the next slide, Tyson. I want to thank the cleaners. If Miss Lydia is here, Lydia, our head cleaner, she's right there. Parents, please wave to Miss Lydia. <laughs> Lydia has done an amazing job. Uh, we had our graduation for the kindergartners yesterday. We have to come back and stick this photo, stick the, the result seats, uh, uh, papers on the seats. We have to come and clean the place. They carried the carpet. They cleaned the year sixes classes since they were here and you have to agree with me that the classes are sparkling. The classes are extremely sparkling. Thank you Miss Lydia. And there's a quote there that says that both of them and the way we live cannot stay clean. One of them have to be dirty and they've chosen to be dirty for our sake. So thank you so much the cleaners. Then we move on to the next one, Tyson. Uh, empathy. Empathy is something that is simply a candle loses nothing by lighting another candle. In every life, everywhere, in our houses, in our homes, in hospitals, wherever we're working, just light another person's candle. We will not lose anything. And empathy refers to the ability and understand other people's emotions, be it exciting, it's not exciting, it is important. Thank you, Tyson, to the next slide. And um, the last slide says, this is to my teachers, you are wealthy, you are capable, you are beautiful, book the ticket, write the books, create the dream, to the great yourself, rule your kingdom, and do your kingdom. Be real, do not be perfect. To my babies, 
life is just that the way it is. To the next one. Uh, spread the love. My last quote comes from Martin Luther King. And uh, this is to all of us in every space of life. If we cannot fly, then let us run. If we cannot run, then let us walk. If we can't walk, then let us crawl. If we can't crawl, then let's just do something to move. Keep moving. Nothing should always hold us back. Keep moving. My babies, did you hear that? Keep moving. And I've always told you, being on stage means nothing. Being the first means nothing because life has its own challenges. When you're out there, it's a totally different game. And the last slide, Mr. Tyson, is a big thank you, parents. Thank you for entrusting us with your babies. We may have done our best, but not to the satisfaction. That fact which we have left, we pray that it's filled by God and our love and ourselves. And to our babies, we will miss you. We love you so much as you move on. And to Mr. Collins, please stand up. I think the parents want to know who is going to receive their babies. Huh? Mr. Collins is here already with the year seven. And the class of 2020-2021, Mr. Collins is going to receive you. He's a wonderful coordinator as well. And that is from me. And I thank you. And uh, I wish to uh, return the microphone back to my, to my wonderful MC. Mr. D, Mr. Sir, to Mr. D and Mr. Sir, what do you tell these guys? Mr. D and Mr. Sir, please, 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 please. Yeah? Thank you. Uh, Paris, this is a wonderful event here. Uh, it's a side muscle. No. <laughs> okay, but they're saying it's not a side muscle, but it's kind of in the absence of the principal. Yeah? Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so this wonderful event is here. I've done an amazing Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Alright, thank you very much. I'm going for Mr. Lecter. Wow, we've come to the end. It's been amazing. We thank God for everything that went on smoothly. Thank you to the candidates. I can see some of you are a bit exhausted. Of course, it's been long preparing for this. So, we are going to release you. And uh, we have the red carpet at the basketball pitch. I'm